What's going on, guys? Politics Gaming here, and today we are doing the next episode of the Republic of Turkey. Um, right now we are now focusing back on our onto our nuclear program. Um, so we have uh, tests going in in the place right now. So we have another 245 days until uh, nuclear tests um, are completed. Ooh, that's a lot of words. High density in the labs. I'm gonna build more labs. Um, so, national holiday, I think I'm late for that. Ooh, meteorologist. Let's negotiate. Uh, budget. Let's go ahead and check. We are spending $26 billion on energy. Wow. We, that is up by 4% from uh, 2018. Um, research. Uh, transport. Hmm. Look at all these spending increases. Twenty two billion, twenty four billion, eleven billion. That's amazing, though. Eleven billion to twenty six billion. So that's good. Um, energy is honestly one of my top priorities. Um, energy is always great, which actually I'm going to go ahead and come over here now and I'm going to check and make sure that. Um, we have sufficient production. Yeah, no, we do not. Our nuclear power plant is about to be completed, so we are going to see how much we produce off of that. And as soon as it does, General in Chief. As soon as the nuclear power plant um, completes, we're going to build another one. Um, because we do have the money for that and um, we obviously actually I think I might invest in um, other energies maybe to see uh, solar panels and stuff like that can actually pay off um, let's go to energy onshore wind solar we're getting two terawatts of, uh, of energy Cancel, let's go to construction, and let's go, we have confidential information on Iran, nothing we want to reveal, and the president of Armenia has been assassinated, we don't know who, we don't know why, but, oh, um, true tragedy, true tragedy, um, so let's go ahead and build it in southern Turkey, So after these nuclear tests, I have no idea um, if this will create um, if this will be the last way to get a nuclear bomb. This guy's been in there for twenty-five days. Um, Research, what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and build 100 of these. We're going to get them done in one month. Okay. Discoveries, uh, we don't need to look at them. Um, I think I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to look at building housing and roadway. We're going to go ahead and invest one billion dollars into this sector. Um, we have a twenty-eight billion dollar, or actually twenty, at least twenty billion, 
you know, twenty billion dollar up uh, price difference. Um, all right. Um. Threat of ex execution. They will, ex they will execute them in 60 days. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at our taxes. Hiding place found. And then let's raid them. We have a high probability we are going to demolish them. Um, I think soon we are going to uh, crack down on... Ooh, 3,000 dead. Damn. I can't give emergency donations, that's weird. Uh, that's a bug. So, yeah. Successful liberation. And then let's go ahead and check. Ooh, we have a meeting with India. Let's go ahead and accept that meeting. Um, okay, so our nuclear power plant is completed. So we had 180, now we have 206, so that is a addition of at least about 20 terawatts, which is keeping up with our national consumption. We are not meeting our national consumption, um, so I think one more nuclear power plant can actually do the trick. Um, legalize the death penalty. That I, I would have to hold that to a referendum. Um, depriving a person found guilty of crime punishable by death with the right to live. Every human being has the inherent right to live and no one shall arbitrarily be deprived of life. So how would people want to do that? Let's do... Okay, I swear to God if this actually goes through. Okay, good. So it has bipartisan support, and the people would actually like it. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it up to a referendum. We're going to go ahead and do a TV address. Um, let's go ahead and check the referendum. 95% for, oh my god. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's a screenshot. Close. Yep, we're going to go ahead and pass the death penalty. Okay. Well, yeah, we're going to refuse you. We don't really want to meet with Oman. Um, I think, here, we're going to go ahead and go to Diplomacy. We are going to go to Actions. And, and just realize there's a storm outside. We're going to go ahead and put a Arms Embargo on the United Arab Emirates. They're not that friendly with us, so um, I am going to break off um, arms trade with them. Ooh, we have a protest. Whoa. What's going on? Oh, it's death penalty. Eh. I mean, if 95% of the Turkish people support the death penalty, then um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do death penalty. Dissolve the parliament. Maybe we can have another election, but I mean I can I can actually like have like right-wing policies But if I go to a single party thing, I won't have to worry about an election because if I go to an election then like literally no one It's gonna Like I'm, I'm gonna be able to stay in power Okay so, army. Let's go ahead and check on our nuke program. We have 200 days until that. I think we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a lot of skipping, like off camera, and then I'm gonna. Um, next episode, you know, um, that's whenever I think we're gonna go ahead and get our um, nuclear program done, or the first time that I see a nuclear test happen. Speaking of environment, let's go ahead and give more funding to the environment.
well, four to eight billion dollars. It's twelve billion dollars that I would have to spend just to give people tax credits for using clean energies. Um, city services, traffic and city centers reserved for public transport. Um, interest rate. We actually, um, we actually lowered the interest rate to about two point. We actually lowered the interest rate to about 2.6%, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, all right, it does seem we have a lot of protests going on. Um, we have a protest against capital punishment. We have the same amount of people, but we do also have a riot. Um... So let's go ahead and give the military the order to attack. Um, Non-aggression pact has been refused by Iran. Uh, let's go ahead and check our um, strategic alliances with Iraq. Um, Iraq, not a lot. Um, you know, I actually am uh, thinking of doing a uh, gameplay as a uh, Kurdistan. Um, I have a really good uh, idea. I'm possibly going to try to do it as a uh, um, in Iraq and then we could fight against Iraq and possibly gain a ceasefire. We can capture the territories in this area over here in northern Iraq um, and then possibly we can expand into uh, Iran, we can capture this region, and then we can make peace with Iran. And possibly this region, no, maybe this, yeah, this region right here in Turkey, and then possibly some of these uh, northern areas in, uh, in uh, Syria. Which, I mean, yeah, there are um, Kurdy... Kurdistan uh, resistance happening right here, but these guys, this one right here is uh, captured by uh, Kurdistan. So, law and capital punishment, turnout was high, uprising. So we're done with that. Um, let's go ahead and let this riot pass. Reintroduction re of capital punishment. Denounces Turkish actions. I will fight it. I call on the international community to mobilize against your government. Oh my god, this is NATO we're talking about. Is Does this mean... Oh my god. Does this mean uh, we are going to be excluded from NATO? Oh boy. If it is, then we are going to make a super alliance between Russia, Iran, China, and Turkey. So I think now that we are being challenged by NATO itself, what we are going to do, we are going to start establishing further ties with uh, the Russian Federation. So let's go ahead and buy or sell some... Uh, products to the Russian Federation because there has to be a few things that Russia really really needs that they don't have so let's see what kind of uh, um, natural resources or raw materials um, they need but don't have utility vehicle they have a lot of things actually um, so I doubt we're going to be able to um, do a lot unless we can import some stuff which would still make our um, industry a little better so we have 12 million we're selling 8 million okay so we can't sell chemicals let's look at clothing how much is that that's a hundred per unit 87 per unit. That would be about $2 billion contract. Can we do it? No, we can't. 
Uh, cement, bottled water. Um, beef. Looks like they are low on beef. So we're going to go ahead and sell them a good portion of what we have. Oh boy. Okay, lo what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and buy um, one or two things from Russia because um, we would not be able to get a good contract. So, consumer electronics. Um, yeah. Sale price, purchase price. So, we're going to go ahead and put that at 99. Ooh, they have a female president. Um, you know what? I actually just completely screwed up this trade contract. Let's go ahead and see if we can invite the president of Russia. So we can make this quicker. Yep, I knew it. So, um, obviously we need to improve uh, Turkish-Russian relations. Um, I think what we can do, we do have a lot of extra money that we can spend, so we're going to go ahead and give them about a billion dollars of aid. 1.000. And we're going to send off one billion dollars of aid to the Russian Federation to help them in the development of their own um, things. Public finances, not a lot of people like that. How long does it take for you to end a riot? I am telling you to launch a military assault, and no one is doing anything, so we finally did that in about, like, two minutes. We obviously have a strong, we have a strong, uh, military alliance with Azerbaijan. Um, I think we are starting to have a few differences with NATO. Um, so that puts our strategic relationship with the United Kingdom, Germany, um, especially Poland, um, but if we are kicked out of NATO, we can look to Ukraine, Russia, uh, Iran, Qatar. Actually, um, before I forget, we are going to invite the president of Qatar to Turkey. The hell? Now we're going to go ahead and dismantle. Government waste. And renegotiate. So let's go ahead and move this to an alliance. We designed this on December 30th, 2019. We're going to renegotiate. We're going to go ahead and ask for air, land, and maritime rights. Okay, let's go ahead and ask for maritime. Okay. Let's go ahead and ask for air. Okay. Now let's go ahead and ask for land. And it's always land that always uh, is the difficulty. I think you have to do it a few times before they actually accept, which I'm going to go ahead and check our relations. Now we have a 100% uh, strate strategic relationship with Qatar. So I don't know why they are refusing. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and give you that, and I'm going to give you um, air and maritime rights to me. So now, hardest part, we're going to go ahead and try to ask for a military base installation. We're probably going to go ahead and put a radar, radar station. Yes, we got it. Let's go ahead and see if we can put another in there. All right, looks like that was a success successful meeting. We are officially a strong ally of uh, Qatar. We are now expanding our uh, sphere of influence. 
Um, so what my plan really is to do, we're going to go ahead and make a common currency. We're going to go ahead, we're going to um, aim after um, one of these organizations. We're either going to do a political and military movement, um, a monetary union, or an, just the regular economic market. Possibly a monetary union or political and military. But we are holding off on that until a later date. Um, soon enough, we are going to ban the nationalist movement. Um, taxation. Um, I don't think we really need to mess with taxes as of yet. Um, taxes. Taxes are at 4.5. Um, stock market is decent. Elections next time is going to be in 2024. National Bureau of Statistics. Diplomacy, how much were we spending on diplomacy? Uh, Four billion dollars. I think most of that is just going to aid, like, to uh, Iran and uh, uh, Russia. Okay, maybe they want to meet with us. Mm-hmm. Um, I think to try and sell some products, um, I think we need to look at some of the countries that, uh, we can buy from, I mean, buying very, very cheap products, I would look to India and China, possibly Vietnam, um, and maybe some of these Southeast Asian countries are very, very poor countries you really want to look at because they have very, very low selling prices. Like if you were the United, United States, then you would get a great, 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 great deal. Like any deal better than what Trump can make. So let's go ahead and check our relations with China. They are at a... So... Strategic relationships, 20. Um, and they're red with me. That's weird. So. Um, now let's go ahead and check on my energy program. Um, just not that long ago, I did um, dismantle about like 2,000. Uh, fossil plants and that took about like probably a couple tens of billions of dollars and um, so this is an expensive project we are currently spending 26 billion dollars on our energy sector over the 114 million we were originally spending so Current contracts, we have a nor natural gas agreement with India. Ooh, I just realized we can invite Pakistan and we can try and deliver some uh, some of that natural gas. And our new reports are coming in for the year. For the year of 2019, we are now entering the year 2020. Um, in the United States, there will be a presidential election happening on that year. Um, looks like Trump is sitting at 47% approval. And 4.54% um, growth with uh, the GDP at $1.4 trillion. Um, wow. Russia has 11% growth. 
and GDP has hit two trillion dollars. Let's go actually go ahead and look at that for Russia. Russia, 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 Russia. There you are. Let's go ahead and look at their GDP. GDP has gone up from $1.8 trillion to $2 trillion. Um, let's go ahead and look at unemployment. Unemployment is hovering at about 3.5%. Um, population. Population is still going down. They're having a massive population crisis. And deficit, not a lot of problems. Um, and forecast for 2020, um, no data yet. So, <clears throat> let's actually check a few more countries. Let's check the United States of America. About 3.5% growth. Um, 335 million people. Um, about a 2... 1.9%, 2% uh, budget deficit no growth statistics and they are now sitting at nearly 19 trillion dollars of uh, GDP and let's check the People's Republic of China China is just catching up they are grow oh wait I actually forgot I wanted to check their growth let's check China, 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 China. Um, unemployment uh, skyrocketed to um, nearly 4%. And let's go ahead and check their budget deficit. Still have a budget deficit. 1.4 billion people living there. And on, what was I actually going to look at? Um, I just said it just a second ago. I'm not going to feel stupid. Um, GDP. That's all they got. Alright, I'll probably remember it um, later on or while I'm editing this video, and I'm gonna go like, oops. Um, Alright. Congo. Oh, yeah, I can't check. Um, inflation is 3.8. Ours is 2.3. Deficit is 0.7. Ours is 1.5. Well, actually, it's probably it's negative 1.5. It's we have an excess. They have 242 nuclear warheads. We have zero, but that is about to change. Um, let's go ahead and put this on fast. And we have our monthly reports. Same thing. This is an average result. Unhealthy housing situation. We are still working on that um, next sometime whenever I get free manpower. I am going to launch a massive stimulus to um, um, help people get in homes. Possibly a little, little socialist, but um, I am also thinking of doing this. Let's go over to religions. And let's go to, you know, before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and save. You know, there's actually a TV show I actually watched. It's called a, um, House of Saddam. Um, it is a documentary, or not a documentary, it's a HBO, HBO series about the uh, um, rise and fall of uh, Saddam Hussein of Iraq. It's actually pretty interesting, and I recommend you guys watch it. So, Terminal Relevable of Religious Freedom. Influence of the official, official religion and state functioning. We're going to go ahead and take a poll and hopefully they this doesn't okay so the nationalist movement likes it but the AKP does not like it but we're still going to get it passed 
because we will get it passed with a 61.6% uh, uh, margin. Possibly, um, I can switch parties over to the nationalist movement, and I can um, either that or I can just start making a, everything a decree now. I won't have to worry about parliament. All right, we're going to do a TV address. And accept. Okay, we have actually the AKP likes it even more. Let's go ahead and go to the next day to watch out for protests. Okay, we have a um, meeting with Pakistan. We're going to go ahead and sign a non-aggression pact. Let's go ahead and try a few times for that non-aggression pact. Non-aggression pact, non-aggression pact, non-aggression pact. I just do not want to declare war on you. Um, okay, let's go ahead and go over to natural gas. Natural gas, natural gas, natural gas. We can... Yeah, we're going to have to do it by uh, LNG uh, slash train. Train... Um, so... <clears throat> this is weird. Oh, there we go. So... Their purchase price is 449 our, our sale price. So as long as it's above 406 then we're fine. So we're going to go ahead and put at 492 And I think we're going to go ahead and put this up for 10 years. And then, actually, let's look at their production. Oh, they already have a lot of natural gas. I can't do it. So let's go to oil. How much oil do you have? I know they don't have a lot of oil. So we're going to sell a portion of our oil. Okay. So let's get... Um, this is going to be a little challenging. Let's put that at 801. 801. 801. 7.66. 7.30. 702, 667, too many negotiations, we're not going to be able to get at a uh, um, good thing, so bananas, what, what other things can we buy and sell them, um, not building housing and roadway, can we sell them coal? They don't have a lot of coal, and then also I can go back and I can start uh, subsidizing and um, putting tariffs on our coal industry. So we have more Turkish coal. Um, so we can get it in between 559 and 589. So we're going to go ahead and put this at 660. I'm going to put this at 10 years. Um, actually, a $1.2 billion contract is not going to matter. 625, 608, AD. Let's put that up 580 exactly. I know they're going to accept it, so let's do. And negotiate, and we got it signed, and it will um, go into if it will be terminated on uh, January second, twenty twenty one. So let's go ahead and go to the next date. Let's go ahead and check the status on that contract. Uh, anyway, at least they got something with them. Well, it looks like we are officially um, starting to become a close ally of Iran both economically, we are definitely strong economic allies, and strategically, we are um, definitely um, becoming a powerful duo in the region. So, um, 
Yeah, look at that pipeline right there. So, um, I really, really need to start improving on strategic relations with them. Um, that, that That's something I really, really want to do. Um, so, if you like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And we will do more of this. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think I'm going to concentrate a little more on the um, Turkish-Iranian pact. And um, so, yeah. Um, and I will see you guys soon.